Hello, and welcome to Excellento. In today's video, we'll talk about the 10 everyday objects that you probably don't know why they're there, like the small hole near your iPhone's camera, the small dial at the bottom of traffic lights, and the hole in lollipop sticks. So let's find out. Number 10. Utility Knife Caps Many utility knife blades must be snapped off to get a nice new sharp blade, but most people go out of their way to get pliers or gloves. There is a break-off space right at the back, so there is no need to put your hand in danger. To break the blade off, pry off the section at the back of the knife. Slide the blade back first for safety, then pry off the back. Some knives require you to pry the blade off with a butter knife, but this one has a convenient pin that you can just push in to slide the blade off. Make sure to position the blade precisely where there is just one break-off line visible when you are ready to use it. Pulling back the tab will then lock the blade. Simply slide the blade into the cap's back now to sever it. You don't even need to cut off the end if you're fortunate enough to have two knives. Simply snap the other's blade off with the end of one of the knives. In order to prevent cuts when the snapped piece is disposed of, it is best to wrap it in tape. Number 9. An iPhone with a little hole between the lens and the flash. You may have noticed the little hole between the flash and the lens on an iPhone and wondered what it was for. Actually, it's a secondary microphone. The iPhone does indeed have three microphones. The other two are on the front, close to the FaceTime camera, and at the bottom, near the headphone jack. They are typically located near the bottom of other phones. You might wonder why there are so many microphones on the iPhone. Its placement at the rear is justified quite simply. When you record a video, the sound is captured more effectively that if the hole is on the front or side of the device. Additionally, it has excellent noise suppression. So even if you're on a busy bus, the person on the other end can clearly hear you. The final product has a clearer, crisper tone. Number 8. Buttons on the lids. These buttons on drink lids may easily keep a toddler entertained for 5 minutes. However, they also have useful tasks. Most of these buttons are marked. They are there to help you choose which one is your favorite drink. You can simply look at those buttons and check which one is yours. Number 7. The Neck of a Beer Bottle The beer bottle's neck serves as more than just a stylish design element. In fact, it was made this way for people to hold so that as little body heat as possible would be passed into the beer, enhancing everyone's enjoyment of the beverage. Unless you're the one driving the cab that will take you home at the end of the night, of course. Number 6. Metal Plate on a Stapler Most of you staple things without thinking about how you're binding them together. Unexpectedly, there are two different techniques for stapling items. The permanent method of stapling is the one with which you are already familiar. It is a stapler's default setting. A stapler does have settings, it's true. Everything revolves around this metal plate or anvil with two rows of holes. You have probably seen it, but you are unaware of its purpose. The back side of the staple will be folded inward when used in a standard setting. This type of fastening can occasionally be overly powerful and challenging to undo. So that's when the temporary fastening technique is used. All you need to do is turn the plate on the stapler's base. Then, to temporarily fasten items, you might staple by bending the staples outward rather than inward. This technique is by far the least popular and used stapling technique. A pin staple can now be readily removed by tugging it parallel to the document surface. Many contemporary staplers no longer have this capability, although the larger vintage versions do. To amuse yourself for a short while, grab one. Number 5. A Lollipop Sticks Hole Although the hole at the end of a lollipop stick resembles the hole on a flute or whistle, it is not intended to be whistled through after the lollipop has been consumed. Actually, the purpose of it is to allow a small piece of candy to melt inside the hole. Simply put, if there was no hole, the candy might occasionally slide off the stick if you were overly aggressive with your licks due to the incredibly low degree of friction between the stick and the candy. When this happens, it kind of acts like a hook holding the candy to the stick more firmly so that it will stay there until you finished eating your food. Number 4. Disser Scoops Everyone is aware of the purpose of these ice cream scoops. After all, it's kind of implied in the name. 
You might be shocked to learn that they come in a wide range of colors. But these colors serve no aesthetic purpose, based on how many levels of scoops it takes to fill a 32-ounce container. These colors designate the size of the scoop. So, use the Disser Scoop Table as a guide if you're unsure of how many scoops to use to fill a cup. Therefore, choose your size accordingly. Number 3. Drink Lids Again, the lids on takeout drinks are much more useful than you might initially believe because they not only prevent you from smearing sticky liquid all over yourself, but they also serve as coasters. To avoid producing sticky surfaces, the various lid sizes are conveniently scaled up such that the base of the cup fits smugly into the opposite side of the lid. Number 2. A hole in a pen cap the hole at the end of a ballpoint lid is frequently misunderstood to be a whistle or to prevent the ink from drying off. The reason for this hole is that many people, generally children, have the annoying habit of chewing pen caps, which occasionally causes them to swallow them. The hole was created as a result in order to prevent the pen lid from stopping respiration if it got stuck inside the throat. This also explains why Lego heads also have a hole in them. If the hole wasn't there, the cap might have fallen into your windpipe and blocked the airflow, which could have led to choking. Number 1. Traffic Light Hidden Dial This rotating dial at a pedestrian crossing may have gone unnoticed in the past due to its concealment, but it serves an interesting purpose. If you've never seen it, try to guess what it's used for. If you can solve it, you'll get one year of good luck. Well, it serves as a signal to deaf and blind people to indicate when the green guy is visible, and when it is safe to cross the road. So it is more than just something to occupy bored kids. The dial, which the University of Nottingham created, spins when the lights indicate that it is safe for you to cross. Well, that's it for today. Share your views in the comments below. Also, if you like such content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get a notification of our new videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.